I just uh, did a uh, review of the House of Gucci, uh, which I will link in the description, but then the subject of biopics came up. And that's what we're discussing today. Uh, one, what is a biopic? A biographical um, film could be a television movie, could be a motion picture, could be anything. Um, based on people alive or dead who have lived at some point. Is there a difference between an historical movie and a biopic? Uh, yeah, I would say historical movie could be about circumstances, could be about uh, events, wars, and then people who happen to be in it feature are featured in it but a biopic is definitely about the person or the set of people okay that's me yeah How are you that's my opinion <laughs> and yeah i can live with that uh i think uh but um how is a biopic different from a docudrama about historical events or people uh because it's all completely dr dramatized therefore it's an, an interpretation and it is not um, uh, presented as um, <laughs> words. It's not uh, not this uh, not an independent, you know. No, it's always going to be somebody's opinion, somebody's interpretation of what happened. It's not uh, unbiased. It's going to be not, yeah. never unbiased. Yeah, and not not in a horrible way. Just because there is no other way to, you have to decide what these people said it, to each other in that circumstance, and that led to the next thing. Because who knows what they said in that circumstance? Because maybe nobody was there. Yeah. Um, uh, the Gandhi movie um, was interesting. That it starts with a splatter on the screen saying. Uh, something to the effect of we know what Gandhi did we know where he went we know dates times, acts but we don't know why he did it, what motivated him and that's what so th they're, they're basically disclaiming that we're not going to show you why he did stuff, we're going to show what he did and that made for a very interesting viewing because it was quite distanced, it was quite yeah, but um, but I just saw the House of Gucci film and they basically did the same thing mm -hmm. and it didn't work because uh, it that actually involved people who were... Well, Gandhi... Uh, <laughs> let me put it this way, Gandhi didn't commit a murder. <laughs> a murder and there is a murder at the end of this thing and you don't uh, really understand why. It starts with a love story. Uh, a lot of things happen after love story is complete. A, a lot of things in life happen and it ends with one killing the other. And you don't understand why in this movie. Well, what, would it have helped if there had been a disclaimer at the beginning, literally written on the screen? We don't know why they did stuff, but this is what happened. Would that have been uh, made you feel more uh, prepared for not having um, maybe, the motivation? Maybe in, in this case, no, because uh, a, a figure like Gandhi is a well-known person that everybody knows about. And while these people, the House of Gucci and people connected to them are newsworthy, they are not world newsworthy. And I didn't know about this murder. So that is in, in in certain circles, it is world newsworthy. Yes, but they not, not my circle. But the thing is, this is a movie that is meant to go to to for everybody to watch, and it's if if it was it was if it was like a docudrama or or a TV movie in in a set of other fashion TV movies or or or, or a murder. Uh, I mean, I've seen ma many uh, documented uh, that's docudramas uh, with about murders on on several murder. We have several oh, yeah. murder channels. If yes. it had been on that, I wouldn't have been. But that's, that's, that's a problem. Re, either either documentary or re, realist um, reality TV. Yeah, but mostly documentaries. Yeah. Or, and you know. if in the case of something like Gandhi, we do know some of his basic motivation was a, a movement towards peace. We don't know about these people before I, I started. I, I think 
there might have been a political concept of like let's not even let's not even interpret what his motivation was. But then, but I do. That's a choice. Uh, that is true. But what they do in the film, I've seen it. It's been a while, but I've seen yeah, it. Is they make <laughs> they make sure that they have him speak all the writings that he wrote. Yeah. They, all the lines that he says are of things that Gandhi actually wrote, and Gandhi was very vocal in his writings. So motivation is actually in his writing, and they present that here. In this movie, we don't have any uh, documentation in that way. We have we have events that are actually not in events that are known that are actually not in the movie, and so you, you're leaving uh, putting certain events in, you're leaving certain events out, you're giving um, uh, wonderful performances. By the way, that's that's not the issue, um, but not enough um, for for to gain some sort of... I think they should have made some sort of statement towards that murder, some sort of statement. There was actually, well, the in question, life, there the was something The question about out. a movie like that is, are you making the movie about these people and their lives, or are you making a movie about the event that a murder happened and all the stuff that led up to the murder? And I think... Ha- I think you have to make a the d- choice. choice. You have to make a choice. In, and they in didn't. In the movie. They didn't. They just made no choice mm-hmm. at all. And that's mm-hmm. that's the problem with them. I mean, because there was... Because, you know, there's, there's also... Biopic is definitely... You start with the person. You say, okay, this is where the person became interesting. I, I you know, a long, long time ago, I watched uh, uh, Kurt Russell as um, um, Elvis Presley. Because that movie also happened. I, I couldn't tell you right now if that was a TV movie or a, a feature film because I have no idea. I watched it on television in the 90s and it wasn't made in the 90s. Um, but uh, so uh, the person in question is dead. That's helpful. For me, that's quite helpful. I would prefer to watch uh, bio films about people who are no longer with us and we cannot hurt them with making films about them. <laughs> um, uh, and, and it starts with, okay... He, he is just old enough to get noticed, to be around with his guitar, singing, and he gets noticed because he has this particular voice. All the way until the last performance, and then they basically, as far as I remember, but that was a long time ago, is they, they go, okay, we all know what happens after that. So you take along his life. That's what the purpose of such a movie is, to bring the audience along with the life same thing with the Rock Hudson movie, which was a television movie, by the way. Um, they were just brave enough to show, you know, the... the yeah, but the thing the, is, about, about Rock Hudson, and maybe, maybe for the most people about Rock Hudson now less, but then, uh, and Elvis Presley, people already know uh, that he's dead and how he, has, how he died. That's and, what I'm saying. And, but That's it's much easier. <laughs> and there's another film I saw, which is a definitely a 1940s film with Jimmy Stewart. And I believe it's called the John Stratton story, something Stratton, uh, about a baseball player. I know nothing about baseball and I definitely didn't know nothing about this guy. Somewhere in, must have been 20s, 30s, uh, a baseball player who loses his leg. He was a pitcher, loses his leg in a mm-hmm. an unfortunate hunting accident when he is at home. And they do a biopic about this guy. And the, the thing that made this film good and why I remember it is that they made... Um, uh, these events that happened in this guy's life because he actually gets back to pitching on his one leg um, uh, they made it a narrative that you could follow you could understand why uh, why this is inter- why this is an interesting story to tell that's an in, in, I mean mm. uh, just telling a story because Elvis Presley is, is famous is, is only uh, Gandhi is well, famous Elvis Presley but with Elvis Presley with Gandhi, they decided we were on, we're only going to show what he did, so that's only his public life. With Elvis Presley, they did the same thing. They, they effectively only showed his career, how he went yeah. from one place to but another. But that's in his because career. yes, his mother showed up. Yes, things showed up. But it but was that's because because everybody knows Elvis Presley. This yeah. this this Stratton it's guy. For the people who know this Stratton guy. They know the Stratton guy, but for the people like me who don't know the Stratton guy, you have to make an interesting film. And they did that by making the narrative uh, interlock. I mean, it's not, mm-hmm. not necessarily big conclusions, but some interlocking. Well, and and tell, House of you Gucci... You tell one story arc with... Because you don't have a lot 
lot of time. Two hours is not a lot of time to tell somebody's yeah. life in. And and in the House of Gucci, this this the, and and that's why I think this film is failing and getting bad bad reviews and bad less mm-hmm. ratings. Is because they don't make an arc. They don't make any interlocking. They they have the little be- beginning bit bit is nice where they fall in love. That's nice, and then it goes down the drain until it f- goes down the sinkhole, and mm-hmm. you don't mm-hmm. understand why. Whereas in in the Stratton story, and there was another story, and I think there was also was it also Jimmy Stewart uh, about a trumpet player, also a biopic. Uh, oh, uh, nee, the, um, that was Kirk Douglas, wasn't it? Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. That's so even longer ago. I, I saw and the beginning of the movie. I didn't see the whole movie. And and uh, there is another one uh, that uh, uh, Doris Day uh, Doris Day did. Uh, uh, mm. I will. I will put I it will in. The, yes, we'll, we'll uh, put it in the show notes. About about a famous singer, and they made the the, the, the famous uh, jazz singer uh, who had a horrible husband. In 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 James Cagney played the husband, uh, and it was really they made and again this little bit of interlocking that the the sequences it's, in her life make some sort of sense, and uh, if you don't do that, I mean in docudrama that's no problem. That you 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 want to then see you say, this happened, then that happened, and then that happened, and, and then the here's whole, and the here's whole, a th- person. The three things don't have to necessarily yeah. have to do anything with each other. And here's a person who was there and tells a story, and here's the policeman who co- cleaned up the mess mm-hmm. afterwards to tell a story, and that's fine, that's no problem. But in a movie, you need to do more than that. And for the case of Gandhi over an Elvis, people. Really, everybody knows who these are, but the House of Gucci and a Stratton and this this. Oh, well, give you another this... one. Give you another one. Um, uh, the Victoria series. Um, uh, I I'm blanking on all the names. I w- wouldn't be able to tell you all the names, but I did watch all three seasons, and uh, I think they assume that the people watching this effectively don't know anything other than we know uh, the Victorian era we know what the clothing looked like we have seen her picture we know she was married uh, um, possibly we even know she was happily married uh, we know she had loads of kids and then we don't know anything because then at some point she is just an old lady that we always see pudgy old lady because that happens for another 20 years after her oh, husband f- dies 40 years after, so yeah. she, i mean she was so we don't know anything. The, the normal viewer doesn't know anything. This is probably the most you can uh, assume from a viewer that they know from either history classes or having uh, been to, uh, you know, things in England or something like that. And they, and, and they, even, assume and they, not, they even assume that you're not, in, not English enough to know English things. Yeah, yeah. And so the, that series, because you have a series, and I think that helps. And they build up, they, they can properly show you the characters they can properly uh it's their interpretation because it is a biopic it is still a a biographical um somebody else has obviously she hasn't uh, talked about it so they make sure that the narratives from one episode to another interlocked to to what is next and you you have to make you have to make certain because it's a while ago and uh, most most people aren't around um, you can also take a little bit of liberty in making it a good fictional depiction, you, you know, a, a, yeah. a, an interesting ride for the viewer. Yeah. So you, you choose what you do in each episode. And this film has the problem that uh, while the most of the people who are actually in the film are not alive anymore, because some, some are all very, quite old to begin with and one gets murdered, uh, <laughs> uh, there are descendants of them and but the thing is, the backlash of this film is that uh, the the family is also not happy. They are complaining left, right, and center, and uh, so it it's if you're going to make a movie, either not I make can't this movie. Imagine mo- anybody alive being happy with whatever movies made about them. At so moment. then it must it doesn't so really matter. You don't have to. You don't have to I, spare I, the the I, heirs because yeah. not making the movie is the only way to spare the yeah. heirs. And 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 I didn't watch The Crown, which is another one of those uh, royal family dramas, but it's about the current Elizabeth uh, of England. And I'm like, that that wasn't really. I, I'm happy to watch. Uh, Victoria, but am I happy to watch uh, uh, 
people who are alive right now and their children are alive and their grandchildren are alive and their great grandchildren are alive. Well, they're public like, figures. I think I think they fall under the public figures. Yeah, and but still, yeah, I, like, I understand. <laughs> I, I, that's not generally what I do, and it kind of feels like real person fic as well. Uh, it kind of like how how do you know how how can one definitively state? what these people are you can talk about history but it's very difficult to talk about you know historical figures i mean but it's very difficult to talk about people who are alive so i i did eventually after like can, five can. years I, i finally watched the the pilot of it and it was it's very good um and certainly everyone's doing a cracking job on that show but um uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm comfortable to watch the whole thing. And I've had a lot of people tell me I should watch it. <laughs> But if you're going to make a movie about people who are alive, uh, if you're going to make a movie versus a documentary, a, doc a docudrama or a documentary, uh, you should be making a movie. And if they are about people who are alive and you just decide to do that after a really good book, because the Gucci film is after a book, which has been out for 20, oh, oh, more than 20 years already. Mm. So it's not news in any way, shape or form. Um, then you should commit and do that and, and well, give the, the audience, is... audience enough information to, to, make, to, to watch a cohesive thing. Then the question is if whether that book, because then you're basically saying, then it's different than the Gandhi movie. The Gandhi movie says, this is what history tells us, that ha that this yeah. is the information we have from history, But and we decide not to put any any interpretation on top of it. But this this movie, the Gucci movie, is apparently saying, here's a book on this family, on stuff that happened, let's make a movie of that. Which is a legitimate way to make a movie. It's like, I have a book. Let's let's film the book. But I'm sure there was. I mean, the name of the book is a sensational story of murder, madness, glamour, and greed. It's by Sarah Gay Forden. If you want to look it up, that sounds so like it's going to be an amazing. Did we see? Okay, the murder we see. Did we see the madness? Ish. Did we see the glamour? Mm, yeah. Yes. Did we see the greed? Uh, yes. Um, did we see how all of that ties into the murder? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more a question of going from A to B than anything else. Yeah. One can make a bad movie. I don't know if this is... But the thing is that there is so much other talent in this movie that... that uh, yeah, I, I think I think the script is... Uh, either the script or the person who, who who decided to go with the script as is, is the one at... Uh, it, it is the failing point here. Because everything else about this movie is wonderful. Uh, the, the, there's no reason why it shouldn't be. They have the... the he It, it's wonderful. So it is the, the 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 either the script or or the choice of going with the script uh, as is 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 the problem. Uh, the the premise of of let's just do the facts and but the, the first bit the love story is very clearly motivated. What their motivations are, it's just it goes away after a while, and. Um, Uh, I would rather. I mean, I I watched the uh, two documentaries afterwards, an American-made uh, documentary and a British-made one. British-made one was really good. I got so much more information out of it that uh, for the actual circumstances and what happened that I don't have to watch the movie for that. That's that's not what this movie needs to do. Yeah. The movie needs to make a cohesive, yeah. interesting unity out of it. Um, Uh, I wouldn't have missed want to miss this movie for anything because the 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 in the interviews that I saw in the documentaries you can see how well these actors have played it. That's not that's the problem. That's what I was just thinking. I mean, just the cast list alone is like. And they all did, <laughs> yeah, did, did like have them read the the uh, the, the phone, phone book. Phone book. <laughs> that's, that's all you want them. Nice, <laughs> nicely put together, of course. Yeah, um, that they could have even if they had gone with like a document and 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 a refilmed documentary, a, a docudrama style with interviews, but the actors doing the interviews, that would be interesting. They do that nowadays. I I really enjoy that. On and, and that would have made have made it better in that way yeah. because as a a uh, an actual story, a film story, mm -hmm. it is not good enough because it is being hampered by the fact that it's a biopic. Right. So. What we've just touched on is like the docudrama and how good they can make them these days. Uh, I can recommend Equal. I assume it's American because it's all about 
American uh, situations, and they go from the 19 late 1930s up until Stonewall, and they go they do various parts of the uh, gay liberation movement and the whole uh, LGBTQ gay, gay liberation movement. So it is a, it starts with like gay men finding each other in uh, after or during World War Two. That's one episode. It's actually there's and there's there's a trans episode and they do every every part is played by a person, by an actor or actress, you know, actor whatever gender. Uh, various genders. Um and they they go they flip back with the transgender one they flipped back also to the 1920s and earlier where there was a trans man who lived as a trans man, but of course there wasn't such a thing as uh, having uh, uh, ha having it, it, it actually uh, done. And uh, how this person lived and, you know, the, the, the sadness that comes out of that. But the, these people are being, are telling to the camera, they are completely in character. Um, and I really enjoy, like you're saying, you got more out of that documentary, which is an actual documentary. And this is a docudrama, but it, you get so much out of that. In their words, such an actor tells you their lives and what's going on. Uh, the whole uh, Christine Jorgensen story is in that episode as well. I knew nothing about it other than that she existed. Uh, and it was roughly the 50s. That's all I knew. But go watch it it's it's super interesting and then the last episode is about stonewall uh that was more information than i have ever gotten out of any documentary about the happenings at stonewall and it was all dramatized but not because it is also told to you by these people to the camera yeah okay and um yeah and, and that's that's so, so, I think so you're either gonna go for a documentary and you can make it as dramatic as you want, or you go for and that's the other thing I want to say about this House of Gucci is like the other way to go is what they did with the sissy films, the German sissy, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Empress of Austria, Kaiserin von Österreich. Uh, there's three films, and what they did from the 50s, from the 1950s, so you don't expect any sort of realism. Uh, no, what they did was they made it a love story. Yeah, but it, it actually and did get a bit of trouble because the story, oh. because history as it went is that yes, there is a love story there, but they did fall out of love, and they actually well, they stopped, stopped before that. They they, <laughs> they only did the three movies because it was incredibly they really, popular. They really focused in on the fairy tale yeah. love story, pretty it, it dresses, was, it was it was balls. the it was the most <laughs> successful film series that uh, Austria, uh, Austria uh, no, Germany. Aus uh, it's a German production. It's a German production. Mm. Uh, the the Germans ha had ever had in that period, but they had to stop after the three movies because it would get into historical facts that would would go down the drain real fast. Yeah. In in a way you that lose the fairy tale aspect. <laughs> yeah. The, but that's the fairy tale end, ends. That's and, what I'm saying. Uh, is but that you choose. You either yes. choose the love story or you choose the the rough historical facts, and you just go for that. That's, yeah. And that's and, what and if, I would if say. and if if a film doesn't decide on that, then then uh, one has to say it's it's not a good film, hmm. unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Whereas and I the prefer, films are still very And I prefer the, 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 the what's his Stratton story. I have to look his up his name. I'm, I'm sure his name was Stratton, um, because it it it's simply co cohesive, and I, that's what you want out of a movie is a certain amount of cohesiveness. I mean, a lot of stuff can happen in it, but there has to be a narrative that starts at the beginning, goes through the middle, and comes to the end. Yeah. And and if it doesn't, it, it be becomes a sort of a story arc. Has a story to still arc. be a story arc. Doesn't matter if it is a biopic or whatever. If it is a movie, or even a television episode, it has to have a story arc. But television episodes can actually help in here because you can say television episodes right now they make television they make uh, story arcs over the whole season so every episode only has to do a part of that story arc but every episode still has a they have to have a beginning a middle and an end yeah uh, unless you're 24 and you do it differently but um, <laughs> there's always but if you do it uh, but then you do it on purpose yeah. that's the thing do it whatever it is you do do it on purpose. 
Yeah, and and stop doing it if it doesn't work. <laughs> well, that's that's that well, neither here nor there. I, but I think for the if one of films, produced, if they produced this movie for twenty years, then there isn't such a point as as stop if it doesn't work. It's just at some no, no, point no, you it's, want it's, to um, kick no, it out into the world the production and say it, enough. The production itself was pretty fast. It's just that 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 the choice of starting the the project, uh, talking about it, getting the rights of the books and that stuff that happens now 20 years ago and um, the filming itself like i said they filmed the fi they filmed in in spring of of 2021 it's now it's now december uh it's just, it been out for two weeks uh already uh that's fast for turnover so i think the production itself was pretty fast it's just the the start of deciding are we going to do it or well, not it's just it's a early. drama with nice nice clothing and nice scenery so you don't need you don't need a lot of post-production yeah i suppose i i don't know uh you're not um, you're not a year in into uh, special effects and stuff like that but so. i mean i mean the actual production of of um, we're sitting down and doing film stuff is very short much shorter than 20 years Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, so, that's always a uh, question of months. But the the script writing and I don't know. The thing is, this wasn't a bi biopic the way I would want them. I I, I, I prefer I think something like like a fictional biopic, like Little Big Man, which is a fictional oh, biopic so of this nice. guy in in the. In, I'm in sure the... that it's totally not PC now anymore. But oh it no, was, we we. It was it was it, it was it was it was it was good in a way that it showed in uh, Native Americans without them being like uh, chasing down cowboys. Which was novel at the time, yes, yeah. as as a a a, a, um, a tribe doing their own tribey thing, um, and this guy this this guy gets embroiled in that, and basically stuff just happens to him, and it's completely fascinating to watch. But even so, there is a arc. He gets to a point. He actually gets to to a point which he had been earlier, and he recognizes that point. Um, like that, that that wife that he had a wife and he, he lost the wife and he ran into her again later, and she is now married. She's now with somebody else, and he you get this point that there is an arc there. He has a growth arc as such. Yeah. It's very weird, but it works as a fictional biopic, uh, in in that way. Um, uh, but of course, in the fictional biopic, you don't have to adhere to any sort of facts except for physical facts like like what were native americans like what was what was uh, the western people like that's at all the time completely an interpretation of the who made it at the time they made it yeah um s yeah and biopics are difficult <laughs> i think i think it's that's very difficult and i would definitely never do it never never do it if people are still alive that's my thing <laughs> that's my opinion yeah so um and yeah so that's our opinion that's our opinion that's our opinion <laughs> and we're sticking to it yes <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next time maybe when we have another opinion i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> more opinions that's more opinions okay